My main terminal file manager is LF, which is basically Ranger, but written in Go. And one of the complaints I see frequently get made about LF is the fact that unlike Ranger, it doesn't natively support image previews. Now, I've kind of gotten used to not having them, but I can imagine that when you first switch over from Ranger, it can be a little bit annoying, but this doesn't mean that it's impossible to do image previews in LF. There are a couple of efforts to bring this into the program and all of them are sort of hacky, but if you desperately need image previews, then some of these will work. Now, the first method that we're gonna look at relies on W3M, which for me is a little bit of a problem because in Alacrity, it doesn't support W3M images. And my other terminal that I use is ST. And ST also doesn't support W3M images, so I had to go download a third terminal that I haven't used in a very long time. So we're gonna be testing everything for this one with URXVT. So ignore the fact that my fonts are broken, I don't use this terminal, so I never bothered to fix it. So if we go into my image folder, and then I've got this bound to minus. Now what it's gonna do is it's not technically the sort of image previews that people are really looking for from Ranger. So in Ranger, over in this bit right here, basically you would have a preview of whatever the image is. So the way this works is it's more akin to an image viewer. So if I press minus on this, as you can see, it opens up a W3M image and that looks as good as you'd expect from W3M or we can open up a different one and that will open up as well. Or we can also do thumbnails for videos. So if I just press plus on this one, as you can see, it generates a thumbnail for that one, plus on this one, thumbnail for this one, plus on this one, thumbnail for this one. As you can see, that's basically working as you'd expect. Now, if you try this in a terminal that doesn't support W3M images, what it's gonna do is just basically show nothing. So I'll just show you what that looks like. This is just Alacrity here, and if we go into LF, and let's just go to my images folder, and if I press minus on this, as you can see, we don't see an error message or anything. It just doesn't show anything because it's still trying to load up the image, but Alacrity doesn't support this feature. And the same thing is gonna happen on the video as well. So if I go over here and then press plus on this one, as you can see, we get no error message, but we still get no image being displayed. And I don't think there's an error message on the terminal either. No, so even though it's not working, there's no indication that it's not working on your terminal besides the fact that you're just not seeing anything. So assuming that you are using a supported terminal, this one is actually pretty easy to set up. So you're going to need to have W3M actually installed, obviously, because that's how you're doing the image previews. And then the script you're gonna use is this script right here. So this is actually documented on the wiki page for LF. So I'll leave a link to that down below if you wanna copy it for yourself, or the script is also available on my GitHub, I think. So basically copy this script right here and then put it into a file and call it something like draw image or something like that. And let's just go over to my LF configs just so you can see what I'm doing. So in the .config folder in LF, I've got this draw image script here and make sure that you obviously set it to being executable. So chmod plus X on this file right here. Now, what you're gonna do with this script is you're gonna go into your LFRC file. So that is where you do your LF configurations. And what you're gonna do is basically just set up a key binding for it. So if we go down to map and the mapping I've got set for it is this one right here. So the mapping is set to minus, and then this dollar sign basically means run something from your shell. And the thing that I'm running is this draw image script and then just passing in the selected files. So in LF, the way that you say the currently selected file is $F. And then you should probably also wrap that in quotes, but I would really recommend trying to avoid having spaces in your name. This will just cover that though. And then just below, you can see the video preview script, which does rely on the image preview script. So even if you don't want to do the image previews and you just want the thumbnails for the videos, you still need to go and download that script because as you can see in this line right here, this is where it's actually calling that original script. So if you want to go and get this one, it's available also in the same page, but this one has an extra dependency on FFmpeg Thumbnailer, which I believe in most distros is going to be available on your standard repos. So basically just copy this block right here and then dump it into LFRC and then just make sure that you update this line right here, which is this line right here to correspond to wherever you've got that draw image script actually located. Now, while this technically does work as an image preview, it's not really the same sort of thing that Ranger does. If you want the same sort of Ranger previews, there is a way that we can do that, and that one will rely on Uberzug, which means that unlike this first one, it'll also work on terminals like ST and Alacrity, which means we can test it on my main terminal. So to actually run this one, what we're going to need to do is actually run LF with a bit of a wrapper script 
because if you're going to be running uberzog it needs to do some extra setup stuff to just make sure that it's going to work so if we just run lf run and then let's just go into my image folder so it's not really going to show anything too crazy just yet but wait till we actually get to an image so as you can see it's actually showing a proper image preview now don't get your hopes up just yet it's not actually perfect. So as you can see with LF box draw, you can very easily see that it's actually extending over the points that it should be extending to. If the preview was properly working, it would stop at this line at the top and at this line at the bottom, but it's still better than nothing. Now it does have some other problems as well. So let's keep scrolling down. And as you can see, it's working fine, but let's say we wanted to go back up to a previous image. Nothing changed. And if we keep scrolling through the images we've already looked at, nothing changes. And this is one of the serious problems with it. Now you can get it to redraw those images by actually reloading LF by pressing Control R. And as you can see, that will start working again. And then every time you go over an image you've already seen, you just have to reload and it will go back to re-rendering the images. So it's a slight annoyance, but if you really want the image previews, it will work, which is better than nothing. But it does have another problem which does make it a little bit worse than this. Let's go over something that isn't actually an image. So if we just go up to this folder here, this is where it becomes a serious problem. It's not actually going to remove that image from the screen. Even if we reload LF, it doesn't actually remove it. So Control R isn't actually doing anything. It's still sitting there. And I don't think there is a way to get rid of it. So if this problem right here could be fixed, this would be a really, really good way to do image renders with an LF, assuming that you're okay with doing the reloads every single time. Now, like with the first one, this will also work on videos, but unlike the first one, it will also work on things like PDFs, EPUBs, and various other things that you can do previews of. So let's just go over my video folder and see what I mean. So let's just hover over this one here. And as you can see, we're getting the same sort of image previews that we were seeing before, but this time they're actually appearing over in the right hand side here and if we want to re-see more of them obviously we have to just do redraw and then we can go back in the other direction and as you can see it's working as you'd expect it to and then with a pdf what it's going to do is it's just going to show you a render of the first page now i did try to come up with a solution for this reloading problem where you have to always press Control r so what you can do is if you run lf dash remote and then send it the command send reload so if you don't know the way lf works is basically a client server model so this is the lf client and then it connects to the lf server so this means that if i open up a second instance of lf i can actually copy files from one window to the other and they're not going to be conflicting with each other so what this command is going to do here is just send the command reload to the lf server and that's just going to reload everything and that's obviously going to force the clients to reload and then what i had planned to do with this is every time you ran the image preview script it would reload lf the problem with this is sometimes LF completely freaks out and then just tries to reload 50 times and then crashes. So I don't know what's happening there. I think that every time you run reload, it's going to rerun the preview. So I'd probably have to do some sort of conditional check to make sure that it didn't just reload. So if you do want to try out this method for yourself, there's a separate GitHub repo for it called LFIMG. I'll leave a link to it down below because if you try to search for it, you're probably never going to find it. So Basically, what you're going to need for this one is you're going to first need to download a couple of dependencies. So you're going to need FFmpeg Thumbnailer. So if you did the first part, you're already going to have that. And this one is being used for the video thumbnails. You're going to need Image Magic. I believe that's being used to resize the image. You're going to need Poplar. Poplar is probably for the PDF images, but I'm not 100% sure on that one. EPUB Thumbnailer, obviously for the EPUBs, and also BC. And what you're basically going to do is come in and clone this git repo. So copy the link to it right here. Go back over to your terminal, git clone, and then paste the link into that. And make sure, obviously, you actually put a space in there, unlike what I'm doing. And then what you're going to do is just go into this directory. So into lfimg, and basically just run make install. And what this is going to do is copy a couple of files. So it'll copy... As you're going to see, it'll copy this script right here. So it'll copy the image script and it'll copy preview. And then also what it's going to do is add a line to your LFRC file, which is basically changing your previewer. So I'll just show you what that looks like. So if we go over to the LFRC, as you can see, what it did is it added in a new line. Now, I had already added in the line myself, but what it does is sets the previewer 
to dot config slash lf slash preview. So what this is actually doing is modifying your existing preview script. So if you're going to be using lf img and you want to have say different sorts of markdown previews, what you're going to have to do is edit this script rather than edit whatever script you were previously using for your previews. And then to actually run it, you have to run the lf run script. So as we saw in here, that is in this folder right here. My recommendation would be to take this script and then put it into your scripts directory or wherever it is you want to store your user scripts so that you can just run this without having to specify the entire path to the actual script. It will just make it a little bit easier. Okay, so because I said I didn't really care too much about the image previews, I'm just going to show you what my third method is, and this is the method that I do on my own system. So what I do is I go into my image folder, and basically I open up the image and open it up in SXIV, and I have window swallowing enabled. So what window swallowing is going to do is basically take the terminal that you have, hide that, and then replace it with whatever program you open up from your terminal. So in this case, I'm opening up my file viewer, and as you can see, the terminal is no longer there, and the image viewer is there instead. And if I go and close this, it will bring back the terminal. And this can also be done with videos as well. So if I go over to my videos and I open up something here, as you see, it opens it up with MPV and it hides the terminal. And the same thing's gonna happen for PDFs or really anything else I open up from LF. So the benefit in doing this method is I can use the existing programs I already have and I'm already doing window swallowing anyway, so it's no extra hassle for me. So if you're not already using window swallowing and you don't really like the idea of having it running all of the time like I have it, what you can do is use a script by the name of devour that'll be linked down below. And basically the way that devour is gonna work is you specify, okay, I want to open up this window and I want this window to be swallowed right now. So if you want to do window swallowing with devour, basically you're telling every single window whether it's gonna be swallowed at that point, rather than just saying every single window is gonna be swallowed. Now, if you are waiting for true image previews to be coming to LF, it doesn't seem like it's gonna happen anytime soon. So I've got this GitHub issue right here from the official LF repo, and this has been worked on for quite a while. So it was opened up on January, 2019, and it seems like the last thing that was mentioned in it, when was it? So the last comment on it was November 2019, and it's been, what, seven months now? Seven, eight months since anyone's commented on this, and I don't know if anyone's actually working on it. So basically there was someone who was suggesting doing true image previews with Uberzog, and then someone decided to start working on it, and they actually did have something that sort of worked pretty much as well as the LF image thing we saw before. And then I tried to go to that repo for this video, but it turns out that repo doesn't exist anymore. So I'm guessing the person either deleted their GitHub account or they deleted the repo. I'm not really sure what happened. So basically image previews aren't coming to LF anytime soon. So if you really, really need image previews, I would recommend using something like Ranger or I'm pretty sure VIFM also supports them. They're both really good file managers. I really like LF myself though. And I'm not really too fussed about not having the image previews. So for me, I don't really care, but if you do need them, there are other file managers that you can use instead. But if you don't care, just use an image viewer like I'm doing. So I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to talk about today, but before I go, I want to thank my patrons. So a special thank you to Joachim Craig, Nathan, Andrew, Montezar, Peter D. Road, Tony Donald, and Zilver. If you want to join the Patreon, there'll be a link to that down below, as well as my Amazon affiliate links where you can buy the gear I use in this channel, or anything else you want, and I'll get a small kickback for it. Also, remember to check out my podcast, that is Tech of a Tea, available on Library and YouTube, and the audio version available wherever you listen to audio podcasts. Also, remember to check out this channel, available on Library, BitTube, and BitChute, and remember to smash the like button and leave me a comment down below, and remember to subscribe and ding the little bell icon down below as well. So I think that's pretty much everything for me, and I'm out. <laughs>